Resident Evil. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their Chris, mission. Have you found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare.
this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Me play. That gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Chris. You got it, Wesker. Any... I can hear you. Good. Can you... Do you see everything? As well as... You can my broadcast. Good. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the derpy one. I love it. Well, I'll continue progressing the story. Not sure exactly how much have you caught up on, but I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Okay. Did he get as far as to encountering the first zombie? Yeah, you'll... <laughs>
teammate. Yeah, it's, it has a very fixed storyline, so you're supposed to find them, then go back to West Grand Jill, then you find out they're not there, and that's how you progress the story. You're not supposed to find them yet. Just, uh, I suppose it is troublesome, nobody else tells you that really. Especially if you're playing it like in... Yeah. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? You and I both. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I very much understand and agree with you. It's I suppose it's that uh Yeah. Yeah, it's certainly at least for in my taste it's it's good. Like at least you get to know how you can unfold the story differently or go about it differently. Um, I suppose the bad part is essentially if you don't follow the story you you meet heavy punishment. Like in this case, oh I'm fighting the zombie with the knife. Like the knife inflicts very little damage to a zombie, so it's uh yeah. If you're playing it a normal or easy it shouldn't be a problem, but play hard. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. Right here, I'll, I'll see the zombies right there standing waiting for me. I'm like, nope, I'm not, I'm not going over there. And I just turn over here and look at my dead teammate. And I'm like, oh, you have a videotape. Give me that. It says, uh, it's a film that belongs to Kenneth. I need the video player to see what's recorded in the so. I can't even see what's inside. Not yet. And uh, right here after I go into the store, that's where you'll see that fixed angle, that very like, almost like cinematic angle. The one that I showed you a picture of. Yeah, it's a very freaky mansion. All the fixture here would be very cinematic. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah, they possibly borrowed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> This one, this... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently there's a dead raven inside this cage. That's... sad. <laughs> I'll turn it into a zombie raven. You're all good now. <laughs> and uh, this is where the story gets a little more trickier. The obstacles get a little harder. The zombies are actually going to be standing, being menace. Oh, oh just went around him. I'm all about tank controls. I can do this. Oh man, not you two. He's gonna bite me. Um. Get out of my way. 
Okay, this one's locked. <laughs> No sexy bites here, just very painful jugular bites. <laughs> There's a zombie there. <laughs> I know. So I'm wondering, did uh, Charles play this in normal? Easy? Yeah, because if you played it... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obstacles, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. That's a uh, bummer that really kills the experience altogether. But uh, you will get to unfold a lot of the story with me on this stream. You're welcome, Eddie. You know, I getting back to it. I was playing it on my Switch, but I still wasn't having s a stellar run because I was playing it in hard mode. It's, it's the drawbacks of playing it in hard mode. Zombies, very unforgiving. Like right now, I think that single bite most likely has my health on caution. If I take a look. Yeah, it's in caution. So the health here gets, you have I think three different categories, it's it's on fine, which that's the healthiest you can be, caution, it's like the, let's say it can be either yellow or orange, or you can be in danger. Danger can be I think in red, or sometimes it can be like a different tone of red. Um, so I just got bitten once and I'm already in caution yellow. That's a lot of damage so you can sort of yeah so that's essentially like I think two more bites and that would be screwed. So right here let's not ask questions as to why this drawer is blocking this pathway. Just keep the story going. Clearly a shiny map up there. I'm gonna try to get it. And yes. Cause now that I think about it, that is kinda like an oddity in games now. Like maps, gathering maps. That's not a thing anymore. In games, like it's it's different in the sense of the character for some reason has like perfect memory just <laughs> memorizes where everything is like it's, I think Zelda possibly the only one that still operates in that way maybe one what was that thing? Sorry, say that again. Yeah, like I, I, I do respect that, and Zelda is essentially making like a step into a new direction, which is okay. They're not going back to old maps, like Link taking out like piece of paper with a layout but um, yeah it's like this different technology in the world of Zelda that's that has that ability so it's interesting yeah 
back <laughs> I'm still kind of like familiar with the map or the little things that I can do to make my gameplay a lot easier that's how I go about it Let's see. but the danger is not over when I played on the switch because now I have a version of Resident Evil to make on PlayStation on my PlayStation account and I have one on on my Nintendo account. Uh yeah, I still died plenty of times. And yeah, I didn't I decided not to save it. I was like, screw this, like I don't need the ink ribbon. <laughs> I didn't feel like I progressed enough in the story, I was like, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the cool part. I mean, I'm not gonna show it to you because it's because I'm playing it in hard. <laughs> that's the only reason why I wouldn't. But the main entry to this mansion, if I decide to interact with it, meaning open it, those same dogs in the beginning of the story, they'll actually make their way in, and you have to fight them. Yeah, so that's, it's sort of like, you know what's out there. You decide to interact with it, well, we'll give you what that means. <laughs> it's essentially kind of like curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> At least those are the little hints that I like about the uh, Resident Evil game. It's like, well, you knew what was outside, you decided to explore. Well then, here you go. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This thing right here, apparently the arrowhead, I can remove the sharp end of it. And now I'm going to use it for this statue. Tomb engraved with the picture of an angel. There's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. Go back to my inventory and I use it. Voila. Ah. And it has like this very freaky and strange corridor. It takes me all the way down here. There's these four statues. The stone statue with the hole where the eyes should be. The stone statue with holes where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be. And this one says the stone statue with the hole where the nose should be. And the last one is the stone statue with the hole where the mouth should be. Very strange and odd statues. Mm, the planes are dancing wildly. And there's a strange like, floating tomb that's being held up by a few four different chains. The book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. So I pick it up. It's well, you take the Book of Curses. Because we know that's going to end well. <laughs> yes, I will. Always. <laughs> From all the movies I've seen, it's always as well. <laughs> Ex examine. Once I examine it, I can see there's a key behind it. There's a key embedded on the back cover. 
Could you remove it? Yes, I will. And I got a mansion. And the book of curses, I open it. And it says the following. The book of curses. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Okay. Not bad enough that there's zombies around, but okay. <laughs> and this key here's an engraving of a sword. So essentially head back to the mansion and find the doors in which has the engraving of a sword on them. One of the doors that I'll be able to open. Okay. The bad part is now I have two zombies that are roaming around up here. They still stumble upon some silly. What do you call them? Some like the zombie right there is roaming around, but he can't come down here. But I don't know where the second one is. And I don't want them to bite me. Oh no, there he is. They both are, great. Well, at least he pushed them hard enough. Okay. I'll have to go for the other herb so I can heal myself. Okay, so this is fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm in danger, that's not good. Great. I'm sorry to do this to you, Chris. Got strange songs. What? <laughs> we already know what happened to the other guy. <laughs> much so. Okay, I know he's, he's still there. I know that zombie's still patiently waiting there. But... Oh man, what's that? Sounds like a bird, like a really angry bird. Oh man, they're right there. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to heal myself. And I'm so on bad. Possibly. Yeah, they probably are. Except they're not coming to life. Yeah, I, I don't remember that part. <laughs> That's nice. Some angry ravens. Okay. My health is still in a really bad shape. Uh, I do have that, mm, that key. As a matter of fact, I can just access the map. Okay. So the map doesn't show specifically where I can use my new phone key. Which is I guess that's fine, I'll have to find out myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll try not to die. Well, I'm not 
sure what I know this one did have a door I could access. It says no moment helmet, so no I can't can't access that door yet. I think this one had one. I think we will find out. Yes, here I can access the sword key. Uh, this is from my walkthrough on the Nintendo Switch version, in which I died three times, I think four times actually. Aw, oh, great. I just hope those zombies are roaming around. The storm over here is really bad. more ammo as much as I need really how much is the delay by the way like what you're watching right now is it like a five second delay yeah okay I know there's a Yeah, that's... Yeah, I mean, the delay is not much in the voice, it's just uh, the stream, really. That's what I noticed when I was looking at my phone, I was looking for the link so I could share with you. And that's when I saw it, I was like, man, it seems to be like a 5 second delay. I understand. Welcome. Very much wanted to. And now I get to show you this spooky game. And we get to enjoy this together. Because I've been miserable to get a boat. Because <laughs> I've been miserable playing this alone. <laughs> I keep dying. <laughs> Oh my god, great, I died four times. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. I'm not sure if you noticed that, but I lifted the shotgun up and this thing went up. I'm afraid that it might trigger something. I'm gonna put it back. I think I'm supposed to have something to counter that weight. And if I don't... Oh, okay. I think I'm right. That's why this room is so weird. Okay, yeah. Okay. I remember. That's gonna be fun. Okay, I'm gonna go in these two doors, and I'm not sure if you noticed in the bathroom there was some water sitting there. If I interact with it, there's a zombie that comes up from it, so I'll be possibly as good as dead. Let's see, I'm gonna check the map again. <laughs> okay, this is gonna lead to the stairway downstairs. And if I go straight, it's going to lead to a pathway. Let's go find out. Everyone, congrats on the Padres win tonight.
a bunch of assholes. Still got it. Yeah, I found a spray by the way. Yay! I have full health. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's that was great though. I mean, I'm not sure exactly how age really affects batters other than I know they're reactionary time um, I know that's like that's scientifically proven the older you get the slower you are reacting but um but as for their strength I know they can still as long as they put like effort they can still have that and take good care of themselves yeah understand which yeah you're more prone to get injuries injuries like uh, Kershaw for instance very simple example okay oh, great he looks standing there okay. Chris you're I hope you're dead that was bad. And he stood right back up. Thank you. Oh man. Oh no, 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 no. This is bad. Really bad. Mm -hmm. Well, at least not anymore. Very. Uh, that was a miracle. <laughs> God, I got out of there. <laughs> I don't know how that shot killed the other one. It says there's no knob on this door. You can't go through. Armor. Okay, I can go through there. That's fine. I just don't want this guy to die. But that's great, you guys won against Atlanta. They would just, yeah, easily just give you guys wins. I know they're not, they're not that kind of team. Yeah. Yeah, Arizona. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
We certainly did on purpose. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I understand, and I'm not very heartbroken about it. There was some difficult obstacles to get through. A picture of the partially built mansion. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, at least to me. I I know they had some reasons to struggle. The ones, the thing I can't really answer accurately would be as to why Freddy Freeman wasn't doing so great behind the bat or why Mookie Betts wasn't doing so great. Like, by no means would they always have to be so great, but you know, RBIs and singles, all that does matter. Like it's like, yeah, you can't just be cold on the bat. Like, And of course I'm not going to be like any other fan that's just like, oh, okay, because you guys did bad, you guys suck now. No, like, I understand problems arise. There could be something, or maybe just the way they were guessing possibly the wrong kind of pitches, like, or not swinging at the time they should have. But I understand it's more difficult than what other people think. So, just hope, uh, like you said, they address all that. It's early in the season. It's yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure where that other zombie is. I said I was going to be on a Friday, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Nothing's happened yet, but I'm terrified. Ah! <laughs> Wrong, Chris. <laughs> ah! Wow, I avoided them. Like the bullet dodger that I am. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> oh god, that was that was difficult, but you were saying okay, so Cinco de Mayo game is gonna be chaotic, that's sadly of no surprise. Mm -hmm. Safe environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. Seventh and Cinco de Mayo game. Okay, so it would be Sunday and Friday, right? I understand. Yeah. Look at this bed, by the way. I wonder what's on the other side of this door. That's so he says. That's the monster that honestly kind of makes it, does feed on the horror side of this game. You'll get to see more of it. As long as I don't die. <laughs> oh, great. But yeah, thank you for letting me know. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be around the chaos of what could be the Friday game. Just the idea of it already sounds the same. Uh, of course they are. Mm 
Yeah, that's gonna it's gonna bring the worst in people. Yeah. 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 I agree with you. I would think, uh, yeah. I would think that would be a better option on Sunday. Just making sure this guy's not alive. Okay, good. Because that's one thing you'll also find out about this game that it was it was a neat detail but it feeds into the difficulty of the game is that when you take down these zombies the one that still kind of stay lingering on the map um, those will come back as crimson zombies so they won't just stay dead like they are now but Moments later, they actually come back and worse. They're kind of like a mutated version of themselves. So when I found that out, as I was playing that, I was like, oh, wait, did that one just get up in the weirdest and most creepiest way possible? I'm like, oh, he's even moving faster. Oh, he's inflicting more damage on me. Wow. Thanks, Capcom. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Again, it definitely. F I think. Uh, I think most likely just in hard. I think I might be wrong. I, because the, you know, the very daring guy that I am. Yeah, it's it's manageable. I've, I've passed it with both Chris and Jill, but I know it wasn't a walk in the park. And great, I walked into the store and now I hear some weird noises. Oh, and there's a zombie laying down on the floor. Hey, hey, what's up, buddy? Just stay there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. You're doing perfectly fine there. It says it's locked from the other side. Great. I found a small key. The problem is I don't have space in my inventory. And that's another great aspect of this game. Very few stuff you can carry. The dishes are crawling with maggots. <laughs> A piece of meat from an unidentified source. Huh. That sounds sanitary. <laughs> People are afraid of going... Pff, wait until they see what I make of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh great, another zombie. Okay. Bunch of zombies in here. It's a party. And okay, what's the power doesn't seem to be turned on. Okay, so clearly it seems like the power is off. Okay, so there's a small key here that I'll have to get back to. But um, I'll have to make space first. Oh man, what's happening? Oh. oh no. Oh no, 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 no. My zombie. Hey man! How about no? You should have just stayed over there. You weren't invited. Okay, I just went in a roundabout. I'm out of here. <laughs> Great. At least now I'm, I know I have some uninvited visitors. Okay. Okay, you see how that zombie's still down on the floor? Yeah, he's gonna come back as a crimson zombie. That's great. Uh, okay. I need to store a few things. I don't know where they 
go. Now I know in order to get there, I need to go to the second floor. That's gonna be so much fun. Are you having fun yet, Annie? Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, buy me dinner first. <laughs> of course it counts. Your cookies always count. <laughs> There's nothing here but a bunch of knickknacks. Oh, that's an expression you don't hear often. There doesn't seem to be anything useful here. Knickknacks. Sound like a boomer. It's locked in the blue with armor. Okay. Chris, you're gonna have to ready to rock. Yep. Zombie down. Okay, I'm gonna reload, just in case. And, uh, just in case you're wondering, your character can reload in two different ways. You can either reload by completely emptying your mag and your character entering that like reload stage or you can go into your m into your inventory and reload there. The problem would be that if you decide to reload the first method is that if there's a zombie very close to you as you're reloading he's gonna get closer. So I'd rather press pause and go into the inventory to reload there. You can say it's like a little cheap, but it's, it's the way this game works. Oh man, do you guys see that? Blew that zombie's head off. He's not gonna come back. Awesome. <laughs> oh, he grew his head, head back. Yay. Okay, uh... Damn, those are some freaking noises. Oh, I did see that. Oh, man, that's where those noises were coming from. I can't carry any more items. Yay! Hey, what's up? <laughs> okay. He's coming, he's mad. Take him down, Chris. I'm gonna take out my knife if I... If it's possible that he's still alive. No, he's not. Yay! Yeah, I like to... That's pretty much like the only time I don't mind taking out a knife. It's when uh, a zombie's down. Doing that from when they're up, it's even trickier. I'm still holding the knife. What's wrong with me? Okay. But Chris, you're not Rambo. Okay, at least we know. Oh, that Chris is gonna come back. Is that zombie's gonna come back? as a crimson. Yay! But as you can see, some zombies do get killed permanently. Some don't. Okay. This is the, the safe room. This is where I get to just leave behind some items that I'm not using. Like this blue gem, for instance. I don't know where in the map I still need it, so I'd just rather store it. Okay, so... Why is there something shiny here? Oh, I found an old key! No wonder! So wait, I found two old keys? Okay. You liking the game so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> lose his mind. <laughs> Does he... Like, I know he, he clearly has, like, a, you know, lack of patience, but I hope he doesn't have a temper or anything. Mm hmm But nothing too, like, serious or anything. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna go well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. And it's, mm -hmm. it's just, yeah, yeah, an old-fashioned gramophone. The record is Jupiter. What is Jupiter? <laughs> like, I know that's a planet, but is that specifically something else? <laughs> okay. That is cool. Let's see. Books on various people of the earth. Okay, that's a little too broad. An open journal. The pages are blank. This is botany. Uses of medical herbs. It is well known fact that there exist many plants that are credited with medical healing powers since the since ancient times mankind has been healing wounds and disease says using various plants in this book we will sample three herbs that are a native of the arclay mountains and briefly outline each of the medical qualities each herb has a distinct color and distinct medical quality the green herb recovers physical strength the blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs result in magnified effects. We will outline the effects of red herbs when mixing with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to examine, experiment on your own for true knowledge is only acquired through experience. That's just a brief introduction about the herbs you get to use here in Resident Evil. A mag! Yay! Got more ammo. Sometimes you have to use like... Yeah. <laughs> Very much so. Wait a minute. Wasn't that just here? Getting a little. Oh, okay. So that can be used as a passage, sort of. As you can see on the map, where it says there's some areas that are highlighted red, that means I haven't collected everything there. Yeah. There's no knob in the store you can't go through. Oh, okay. So it's sort of like a one way. That's great. Okay. How's business? Let's see. This glass has been broken, and the picture inside has been removed. It's not freaky. Slot and lumbar armor. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, uh, if I remember correctly, since this is the remake, you should be able to. I think even in the in the old ones, yeah, it's 
you get to find like these sort of like I guess you would call them like satchels or small backpacks yeah they increase your inventory by like two squares so you can hold two more items yeah it's just uh mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. understand it's yes sadly I suppose it is quite common in different games like in Resident Evil it always has been present so yeah the experience if like uh, like you said Zelda so is a perfect example I never thought of it that way but yeah Zelda you do not have sort of like a worry about carrying more inventory but um, yeah that is very much the case or has been the case here in Resident Evil. There is, I suppose it's the only excuse Resident Evil has. It's because of its category of being survival horror game. The survival part is what's, you know, technically if you were able to carry everything, you wouldn't feel much of that suspense of surviving. And, and it's, yeah. Yeah, but it, it's true though, like it's, yeah, the experience, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I understand, and believe me, like, even if you were to say, like, you have some frustration to it, it's no different with me. Like, sometimes I am playing Resident Evil, and I understand the aspects of how Resident Evil works, but I will still get frustrated just because I forget. Like, it's no no heavy frustration to say, like, I'll lose my mind, but it's just like, ah, crap, I forgot. I can't carry anymore. Like, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, like, again, nothing against that comment, that's, I'm for it, I, I do get frustrated, like, I'm like, exactly how you're bringing up the whole six inventory slots, like, I'm looking at my character, I'm like, dude, you're packed with different pockets in your pants and shirts, like, you should be able to carry a damn, like, like a diamond, like, what the fuck? <laughs> exactly, so... <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. Mhm. Mm exactly, yeah. I'm not sure if uh they possibly did that on purpose just to because, I mean, the good part is, to some degree, it does make it challenging, but I suppose once you play through it more than once, like, you get to sort of s connect the dots as to how to make the story progress faster. Like, it's... So you become creative, yeah, like, it's... Yeah, like... It's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm hmm. Yeah. I understand. And, uh, but yeah, I still agree with you, though. Like, it just makes it frustrating sometimes. <laughs> like, uh, that's exactly how was my coming back experience to this game, playing it on the Nintendo Switch. It was just me. First instinct, the first times that I see, I just picked them up. And I would just pick them up. The problem is, those same items you can't get rid of them you you have to actually use them or guess what if you can't use them you have to go to that little uh, that storage that you saw like that safe room I have to find it like this playthrough right now I found out where it was but before I didn't know where it was in the entire mansion so I was completely lost with a bunch of useless items that I couldn't use at that time, and I'm like, I'm dying, I can't even grab the herbs to save my life, like, it's, it was hilarious, I was just, ah! <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was a disaster. <laughs> I was just there holding, uh, <laughs> holding a diamond, holding a shield, and I had no idea where they go. <laughs> and looking at two herbs on the floor, going like, I wish I could use you, but he won't do it! <laughs> so it's it's hilarious. But obviously for respect that it's an older game, like that's parts of what makes Resident Evil Resident Evil. So it was just funny going back to it and having to clash with those very benign problems. <laughs> And sorry if I'm going in circles, I'm just trying to figure out, I should be looking at my map more often. Because I'm trying to get to that, uh, I know there were some zombies in there. Because I think I still haven't used the, okay, hold on, the map, the map. I'm not trying to go in the bathroom. Uh, okay, I see that door behind me. I just went through there. Oh, okay. There's a door right here, but it says I can't access it. Using an old key. Oh, okay. I can use it because I have an old key. Cool. Let's go in. <coughs> the question is, am I going to regret my decision? Oh, shit. I might. Oh, there's dogs. Hey doggos! I'm just gonna run! Oh man, there's earth here. But, oh man, no, this is not good. Hey doggos, you're gonna jump over, aren't you? Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Hey doggos, goodbye doggos! Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> now, those are not the doggos I had. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now I know that I can still get herbs there if I need them. Um, typewriter item box, okay. Okay, I think I know where I am. So I remember where that typewriter was. Okay. I know that door doesn't lead anywhere good, but <clears throat> I can still go straight because I know I can still go to the second floor um, of the other side of the map, meaning the west side. If I'm correct, does the compass does the white line indicate which direction it's I'm facing? Or is it the red arrow of the compass? I'm not sure if you see, yeah, I'm not sure if you see it on the map, like on the top left. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on the
Yeah. I, yeah, I understand. Yeah, the character is facing, I suppose, west, maybe then? Okay. So I haven't explored the second floor of the west side. That's somewhere I need to. Okay. I haven't gone here. It's locked. The Spencer family emblem is carved into the doorknob. So I need a very special key to access that. And what about this door? Oh, snap. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, sorry. You're gonna have to die. Oh, man. That was... Oh, man, I almost... I blew his head off. Oh, sh that was so close. <laughs> wow. Okay, great. At least he didn't bite me. <laughs> yeah. He he was honestly so damn close I thought he was going to go for the bite. Okay. Okay. He took a lot of bullets, but at least it was worth it. Okay, I was going to go... This door seems to be locked too. In that moment of armor. Because I know where to get that key. Wow, that's so scary looking. Oh man, I can go through here. That's scary. You'll see what I mean. Okay. Oh, I think I do remember being here. I think there's something I'm supposed to get. Oh, let's see what he has to say about this fountain. Nothing. Oh man! No, 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 no. A dog. <laughs> see, there's something written in the indentation. Defiler of the accursed coffin. Oh no, why did you stop reading? No! <laughs> oh no. Get off me. It's locked. Chris, get out of there. Get out of there, Chris. Don't be cool with dog food. Ow. Okay, he's in caution, but I can still get out of there in one piece, I would hope. Okay, get out of there. Oh, that was close. And that dog delivered some serious bites. Okay. And, uh, I have a second viewer. Welcome. Okay. Now I need to figure out. Yeah, I'm not going back there. Okay, I'm gonna go back where the typewriter is. I think I'll have to go to that west side. I don't like that idea. I wish. Because what, what I was also trying to do, you saw that, dude, you see that piece of wood that I have in my inventory? There was this fireplace that I lit up, and right on, right in front of it, there's like this metal frame that was also getting heated by that, by the fireplace. So what, what I'm supposed to do is grab that wooden mount and place it so it can sort of give me this fancy map. Because otherwise I'm just carrying this wooden mount and it's just taking room. But I don't remember where that thing is, <laughs> so it's been puzzling. Okay, so I can go front. Uh... I do sort of remember where this is, and maybe, because I haven't gone here, I think, so maybe it's here. Yeah, it's right here. Sick. Okay, mine's carved into, into the relief, glow red, and intense heat. Okay, I found it. Okay, so... Use. 
who came up with this plan? I have no idea. There's a map of the mansion's second floor. Take it? Yes, please. Okay, so it's a second floor map. What a unique way to come up with a map. Okay, cool. Okay, so I think... Yeah. For some reason I can't go in. Uh, helmet. Okay. here and have the map of the second floor and I should go and get the other key I just remember that the other key was sort of like a nightmare to get you'll see what I mean are you, <laughs> are you comfy by the way Madness. <laughs> Is he putting his head up like he was before? Let's okay. <laughs> Very sleepy boy. Okay, I know the zombie's still here. Yeah. Oh. Getting a little CS though. Okay. I'm not sure if I can go into this. Oh cool, I can. There's no further use for this key. Discard it, yeah, let's throw it. Okay, so I already used the sword key. Entirely. I no longer need it. It's not taking up space. Sounds furious. It's an old fashioned lock. That's rather a simple in mechanism. Where are you, zombie? I'm possibly choosing the worst time to approach. Stabbing kind of worked. Yep, there's two zombies. Is he underneath or is he on top? Oh man, he's on top. <laughs> that was easier. I'm not sure if he's dead though. Yeah. them. Okay, he's not moving. Okay, go ahead. It would be a lot easier to dodge if it wasn't such a puny map. Okay, so I'm exploring some new place here. Wonder if I can unlock this. Oh, I know where this leads. Well, at least it's unlocked. I'm not going in. There's zombies there. What about here? Oh, there's a zombie on the floor. Great. There's a wooden... There are wooden boxes here. They are covered in blood stains. Yay! More red flags. You gotta appreciate the architecture of this creepy mansion. A 
painting of the mansion, illuminated by a bolt of lightning. Well, they wanted to capture that moment, Kodak moment. There's nothing but clean product inside. <laughs> it smells faintly unpleasant. Huh. That's. I don't like the fact that there's a lot of windows here. I think they're gonna get smashed. <laughs> I wouldn't. It's an old fashioned lock that's rather simple in mechanism. That means those small, simple locks. As a matter of fact, I should have gone back to grab that other one. Emblem of armor. Okay, because I know I can use it here, that small lock. Okay. I hope I'm not triggering anything here. That's part of the reason why I'm not running. I think something's gonna happen. Access that door. Should I just go back? I think I'll just go back. I already cleared this area anyway. And I can't enter this door either. Just a simple. Oh man, so I can open that door too. Uh, so many questions. Which door should I start with? Over. Okay, he's on the other side. And I will collect the key by going to the first floor. And did Gershom only get that uh, that home run, by the way? Did he get a, a single, a double? Okay. It's so cool to see a home run. Okay. How many of this? Do they, I think they possibly only have one? Both of them? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, why not? He's the MVP. No kidding. <laughs> no. That's great, but again, you know, I can't stress enough how how awesome it is that Grisham is the first one to go at bat. That's that's really cool. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Ooh, I went around them. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, that's... I... I try to wrap my head around how the... how the order of the batters does affect the entire squad so it's to me it's very important to possibly switch it off from time to time let's not always have the MVPs in the front it's uh it kind of speaks very little of the other players and I don't like that it's it's demeaning like it's like hey maybe just because they're not getting home runs is not the reason that things are going bad for them so, uh, the fact that he got put in first to start the at-bats now, it's the way that he's leading it, he's doing a great job. Exactly.
Yeah. 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 I understand. And I just think it also possibly affects the pitching. Like, uh, psychologically. To switch up a team and put your, well, you know, quotations, MVP players first. If you scatter them, I think that's sort of. It does possibly screw with their head a bit. Hitters, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I agree. I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. I completely understand and Honestly, I did get to see that. That was curious to see who the Padres were going to face against. And yeah, I saw the the Mets. I was like, "Wow, we're just we're just starting, and already with some intense games." Like, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. It's it was definitely jaw dropping. It was awesome to see that. Like it's definitely hope it goes your guys' way. Or at least starting this game that you guys win the first one. That would be awesome. It's a revisit of a awesome memory but people thinking, Oh, it's impossible. How can you possibly beat the Mets? They are the best in the West. Like it's completely knocked them down from their high horse. That was awesome. That definitely we will. <laughs> oh, and uh, getting back to this game and trying to... Okay, I think I know where I need to go. I'm gonna hate myself, but let's go. Uh, I think I already treated my wounds, so I should be okay. <laughs> That zombie still roaming around here? Yeah. And I'm gonna go to through this door. And okay. I haven't gone through this one because I guess I can't. Oh man, there's a zombie right there. Oh, I blew his head off. Awesome. There's another grumpy one over there. Yeah. Okay, Chris, you got this? I think you got it. Up, nope, getting back up. Okay, I got it. And is it, no, this 
this is a door that I opened. Oh, it's a green herb here. Yay! I need to go back and grab the other green and red herb. Where the doggos were running. And this is the weird place. And I'll have the option to pick up that key. The problem is, how do I escape this death trap? There's an inscription on the shield. This is everything. Okay, this is everything. It's locked and then of a helmet. Problem is okay. Hold on, because the moment I draw this, they're both of them are gonna start coming at me. This is true essence of bliss. You okay? That's no, okay. It's just uh, making sure that's the case. Okay, I think it takes this and then find peace and death. Okay, I hope I got this. I can't pick it up, otherwise that thing's gonna kill me. It seems everything happens pretty quickly. Uh, how did I get over this? Hmm. This is not tricky at all. And I don't have any ammo. Great, I wasted my two bullets. I made the right choice. through the other door. Unless I'm supposed to wait until it gets very close and see if there's something I can do there. I'm, I'm gonna do that and see if it happens. I'm gonna need something there. Okay. This is where it gets fun. Join me in these puzzles, Annie. Let's see, there's an inscription on the shield. Death is only the beginning. There's nothing I can grab there. I know there's a wooden shield, but I don't think that's gonna do anything. I'll go grab it, you'll see what.
Mm -hmm. The only reason why I'm bringing up that wooden shield is because the fact that there's sh these armors with shields with, with them, you know, they're holding these things. So I'm puzzled. And there's not many other items that I have. Like, there's that shield, there's. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh. I know. Yeah, that's why I didn't notice that. It's not me this time. Um. Uh. This one, the emblem. As a matter of fact, I didn't examine it. Nothing special about it. It says all around. Because I don't think that thing goes into. That's too damn big. When did you have run each of the three of the path to your destiny? So, uh, just trying to figure out if there's other areas of the map I haven't explored that haven't given me what I need. I still haven't found like a blunt object or a long blunt object so I can replace a shotgun. So I still haven't even grabbed it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I should check the map again. Let's see. Yes, I've gone through there. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go to that bathroom, the one where I told you there's a zombie in. I'm gonna go in there. I haven't found, I haven't group explored that area as I should have. Problem is, I don't have ammo, so. Oh, but I do have those defensive knives, so the daggers. So at least the those were kind of keep it at bay. I have two of them. Yeah, I'm not sure if you saw that interaction with that one zombie. Uh, if, if I have daggers, if they get too close to me, he'll, he'll use that as a defensive maneuver. Let's see. So. Yeah. It does, yeah, like you, you, I have two of them though, yeah. I do remember the doggos, nope, I, yeah, this is not the area. I mistaken it. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, I'm mistaken it because this is the door, okay. Get the red herb in case. I should probably grab both, honestly. Chemical to use on plants? Sure, I guess now I can grab both herbs. Oh man, that dog. Oh, he almost got me. And it got me. Get off me. Bad dog, bad dog, stay away from me. Okay. So well, at least I got the red herb. Let's see. Huh. Let's see my health condition is still on fine. And this chemical to use on plants. Send a chemical agent to destroy plant growth. Huh. I wonder where all you all need that. Possibly. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. This is the bathroom. And apparently a person decided to soak inside this bathtub with all their clothes on. You'll see what I mean. That's not a questions. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been in that position. <laughs> it's only fair. Sir, I understand. Just don't bite me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. I got another small key. I know where I can use it. Okay, cool. Sadly, I still can't grab that shotgun. Okay. We'll have to do without it. And I am gonna stop on. Mm -hmm. I still can't access those two doors. Uh, okay, let's still access this one. I think I can hear madness. Yeah, I hear him. That's so cute. <laughs> that big derp. Big golden derps. Let's see. Well, I don't know where I'll need this. And I have the blue gemstone. But no idea where we're going to need that. even the etching of that key that is sitting there I'm not even sure sh if I should have tossed the other one that was possibly why I screwed up I should have kept it if I could place that one in place then technically I screwed myself over unless there's a different alternative uh, okay so I've already gone through this well, but I haven't grabbed everything here Okay, I think there's something else I'm supposed to collect there. Oh yeah, I did see that item. I never went back to get it because I was still carrying everything else. You'll see what I mean. It looked like a whistle. You know, like, uh, that whistle just in case, uh, deers try to rape you. Oh, it's a Oh, it's a dog whistle. Okay. Well, I wasn't off though. <laughs> Says a crumbled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one will be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near the damn dog without risking your a serious mauling, which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get hold of? Well, in exchange for your service, your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolman. Okay. So a dog whistle. That's gonna... It's gonna bring out a... 
particular dog that's going to give me an item. At least that's what I understood about it. And I think I know which corridor they're talking about. The same one that was empty. I need to go back to that one. Okay. Because I still have that other key. But that other key I'll have to use it. It's I can go either to one or the other, honestly. Let's see. There any? Yeah. For some reason, I could have sworn I heard my voice a bit. because I think I'm supposed to use it here. Yeah, you blew the dog whistle. Come here, doggo. Oh no. I forgot, I don't have any ammo. What the hell's wrong with this? Unless I try to kill it with this knife, but honestly, I can't kill it technically. I killed it. Well, looky here. You can start calling me Rambo. That's <laughs> okay, you can't carry any more items. Damn it! <laughs> I can't carry any more items. <laughs> okay. I'll have to leave it here. Oh, I used one of the other... One of my defensive knives. Okay. Get this dog whistle anymore. Discard. Yeah. Wait, why would you discard the whistle... In the way I'm about to step out of that area. What the? Okay, Chris. I love your your decision making skills. <laughs> I'll have to go back. <laughs> Will you take the collar? Yes. I think I heard a dog. Oh, yep, there's a dog. I'm out of here. Doesn't want to get patted. Examine. There's definitely going to be something on this thing. There's a switch. Will you press it? Sure. Oh, found a key. A coin was sitting inside the collar. Huh. Is there something I'm supposed to press here? Oh, yeah, okay. It changed into the shape of a key. Okay, cool. Now I have a key. It's the armor. Armor key. Well, that is awesome news. The problem is I definitely need to get myself some ammo. Otherwise I'll be... Yes. I have a combat knife and yeah, it's, yeah. Okay, I need to check the map. <laughs> it looks like this one. <laughs> uh, sadly, I don't get a choice in that. I didn't know how hard it was going to be. <laughs> hard, ha ha ha. I don't know the definition of that word. You see me playing? Oh god. <laughs> Okay. Cool, this is another safe room. Uh, I 
is there anything in particular we'd like to store? I think I'll store this thing. Because I still don't know what I'm doing. Is there anything here I can collect? Oh look, there's a bed. There's a comfy bed. This is a well-used bed. Okay. Quite the observation, Chris. That's why you're a detective that belongs to the STARS unit. <laughs> there are several kinds of serums here. Many of them are of a sickly color. Let's, okay. It's an old typewriter. If you had an ink ribbon, I could see my progress. Technically, I can. This shelf is full of pills and elixirs you've never seen. Many of them have changed colors. Huh. What are your thoughts on this kind of room, Annie? There seems to be elixirs and different, just as several kinds of serum. <laughs> yeah, I have a comfy bed. I wish it was like a queen size bed. Live comfy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we can definitely do fun things there. <laughs> Very fun things that a lot of people don't do. Dusty room. Really? Ink ribbon? I don't need no ink ribbon. That's such a waste. Plenty of ink. I wonder what the kerosene's for. Oh look, a grenade. A flash grenade. Just some old furniture. Oh, is that a shotgun? Oh Cool, I'll be able to switch this. It's a broken shotgun. There we go. Now we're progressing in the story. And I'm not dead yet. Okay. So I think that door's still not gonna lead me anywhere. No, because it's Actually, armor. Yeah, what the hell? I have the key for it. Or maybe this is a different kind of key. It says, but lacks the rigidity to be used as one. Really? So it's an imitation key. Huh, how do I use an imitation key? That's kind of silly. Oh, yeah, actually that's a great idea. That's why that is an imitation key. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Great job, Annie. Okay. Yes. <laughs> They both match each other's size. <laughs> Let's see. And no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Where is? I wonder if this is. Okay, no. Okay, cool. And this door should help me head there a lot quicker. Yeah. Cool. Because I think it should be which one of these doors. Actually, no, I have to go back. It's not this door. I was mistaken. Oh no, that's a crimson zombie. Great! 
Oh no! I'm not sure if you saw that. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's 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 just God. No, that was not good. That's really really bad. <laughs> They're gonna move so damn quick. Oh, and I can't put it down. Oh, I forgot to store that ink ribbon. I hate myself. Anyway. It's <laughs> okay. Okay. Everything's fine. We're okay. We are all okay. And that crimson zombie is not going to charge at me. No, it's not. Yep, I did not see it. Thank God. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, cool. The bad part is... Crimson zombies, they're gonna come up from everywhere. Okay. I have to pick wisely the areas I decide to cruise by. Angry ravens. Don't mean to bother. I'm just cruising by. Just Chris Redfield rethinking his career choices. Become a stars member, they said. You will be a fine detective, they said. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I might as well grab this ink ribbon. I can honestly... I gotta do a better job of memorizing this map. Okay, actually, I can, remember. I can go grab that shotgun. Might as well take care of that. And, when I take care of the shotgun, I can make my way... to the safe room uninterrupted. That works. Hooray, hooray. I'm a genius. And I'm possibly gonna get attacked here. No? Good. No secret attacks. Okay, cool. Where am I? Okay, that's gonna take me to the bathroom. That's gonna take me over there. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there, Annie. We're almost there. Oh God! You'll see. Did you see it? <laughs> that zombie just stormed out of the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that wasn't fun, but I'm in the sh I'm here, and I'm looking at the shotgun, and I can't take it. Damn it! Okay, <laughs> I hate myself. Okay, I keep forgetting what a loser. Okay, the good part is the 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 typewriter in the item box is right there. The only shitty part is that room. That particular door has a bad knob. So if I go back from it, I won't be able to use it. Mm -hmm. You'll see what I mean. Is this one right here. Like, it's no problem if I use it as an entry to that stairway. The problem is I can't use it to go back. Otherwise... It's a one use kind of thing. You'll see what I mean. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway? And I said, no. Oh man. Oh no, 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 no. The crazy zombie here. There's two of them. Oh great. Yeah, that was fun. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to access that door, because I'm no way I'm gonna go up there in that stairway. I know there's two of them that were dead. 
supposedly dead. Okay, so... Um, should I... How's your health? Some caution, so that's... As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make the smart move and save the game and store this thing and... I've made so much progress, I'm not gonna- I'm not willing to lose this. <laughs> I get the Nintendo Switch, I got I died so many times, I did not save a single time. <laughs> I'm not gonna make the same mistake. <laughs> okay, it's saved. Got gotcha. story. Yeah, and those zombies are more fierce. They just, they don't bite you, they just launch like this really horrible scratch attack. Oh! He almost got me. Okay, he didn't. He didn't though. I got away. I... <laughs> that thing is pissed. I should have killed it. <laughs> but guess what? I'm gonna have a shotgun! Yay! And there's that zombie that stormed out of the bathroom. Okay, so there's two things I get to do now. I get to grab the shotgun, I get to replace that other key with the fake one. And we'll be fine. Yes, I'll take the shotgun, and then I'll place the broken one. There we go. And now I have a shotgun, so I am not completely armless. Oh, and there's a dagger here. Cool! I did not notice that dagger. Why do they hold the shotgun that way? Do they not realize that's inefficient? You're supposed to put the stock against your shoulder. What the fuck? <laughs> like Chris, you're the detective. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I do not want to go up there, so I'll have to go back and face the zombie from the bathroom. Yeah. I'm gonna go back there. Should be a lot quicker to kill though since I have the shotgun. Or I can just go around him. Yay! <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna be an option. I just went around him. <laughs> yeah, I know he was like that. You can hear him over. Oh crap. What up, doggos? No, 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 don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me! Ah, oh, great, I wasted the knife to save my own life. Oh no. Wrong, Chris. Rock. Damn it. You're almost out of there, you're almost out of there. Man, I took so much damage, I think. Good thing is I have the green and the red herb. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use it. Or... Or... This might be tricky, but... Man. I think I'd rather go to the balcony and use the herbs. Because I think if I don't use those herbs... I'd rather not use the herbs that I have on my person because at least these ones I carry with me. The ones in the balcony, those are stationary, so I'd rather use those. The problem is the balcony has a dog running around, but with a shotgun I hope it's enough to kill it. Fingers crossed. Also I hope I don't fuck up the timing. 
If it gets too close, it's gonna bite me. I think I killed it. Yay! Bad dog. Anyways. <laughs> um, and just in case you're wondering why I had to throw that cheesy line, it's because it's a trope in this game. So, someone has to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is some kind of thorny plant you've never seen before. Hmm. I wonder if I need to use that bag for these plants. Because he's interacting with them, and that's the weird part. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. So I think... Yeah. It seems like it's here. I'll go to the other safe room. Uh, the problem is the other safe room still does have two zombies there. Laying on the floor. I'm not sure if they're already came back as crimson zombies. Okay. Or I can make my way to get that key. I'm gonna go get the key. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna go do that. There's a crimson zombie, but it was easy to dodge it. Wish me luck. Oh crap! Nope, 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 nope. Zombie there. I didn't know the zombie was on this side this time. I'm going around. Well, I hope you're having fun so far. <laughs> No, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so... My way to access that... Oh, crap. This is the long way. Okay. Actually... As you can see the... In the map where I'm standing... That door leads to that stairway that takes me to that safe room. Now the other door that's close to it on the right, that one is going to, I'm going to take the long way to get to put the fake key to replace it for the real one. So I don't know which one to do first. Um, the problem is I'm going to stumble upon these zombies on both ends. I think two on the left one and one on the right, but I'm not sure if the crimson zombie <laughs> Yay! Okay. <laughs> I like that game. There's no loser there. And I think these zombies haven't come back as crimson. Okay, I made the right choice. Go! Yeah, I just decided to do this one because these zombies were killed after. So... They're still not crimson. They will come back as crimson, but I might as well get rid of some inventory, start searching some stuff up, prep myself for the worst to come. Ha, <laughs> come. Anyway. <laughs> Herbicide. I got it. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna get I'm gonna take care of the whole key situation now. Zombies don't come back. Please don't come back. Please don't come back. Please don't get up. Please don't get up. I know you can. Oh no. I can see the claws on that fucker. That motherfucker already has claws. Ah, great. Yeah, that's... That's the, uh... That's the sign to look for. If you're wondering which ones are gonna come back as crimson. They kinda have, like, this red skin and they have claws where their zombie hands used to be 
that's why now they have the ability to just kind of like scratch you a lot faster for them. Okay, I know the crimson zombies here. Up, oh, he's standing over there. Do you see it? You'll you'll see it on the on that reflection. He's just standing there. Uh. Okay, I'm just wondering. I could take the long. Yeah, you know what, that way it won't be able to hurt me. I'd rather just do that. Okay. Yeah, screw it. Gonna make this life last. Hey, zombie. Excuse me. Charles side by the way, I didn't even ask that. Oh, yeah. How many times is a lot? <laughs> like, just an estimate, you don't really need to tell me exactly. Wow. Damn, that's a lot. You're telling me he was playing it in normal? Jeez. not moving. That means he's actually just waiting for me to just cross by. So he's not going to be moving. Okay. I'm going to get that key now. Awesome. Get that key, Chris. Pick it up. And I screwed up because I don't have space for it. Ah! Uh, okay. Yeah, I forget. Oh my god, I'm the worst. I keep thinking he's just gonna trade it, but I'm like, dude, he's supposed to drop it. No, he's supposed to grab it, then he can drop it. I'm gonna take care of the herbs. I might as well, I mean, not the herbs, the plants, I might as well go like that. Because I'm gonna be close to it. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay. I think. I think I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. Okay. I'm wrong in the sense that I thought I was going to be closer. I'm not. Okay. So, the Ravens are not going to hurt you, so I can just run through this. Unless I'm wrong, and then the second time I pass through, is gonna just going to start talking, just attacking me. Ravens! No! I'm a Ravenclaw! <laughs> You're not supposed to attack me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go up here. I mean, I'm gonna get out. Second floor. See if that thing works. Dog is dead, so no worries. Huh, <laughs> that dog is dead. It was already dead. Okay. 
yeah. <laughs> oh, it says it's not necessary here. Let's see. Sometimes turning point. Never seen it. Okay, so I guess he's not. This is not the thing I'm supposed to dispose of. Okay. Um. Damn. That means I should go. That means I'll have to go back and leave it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to go back here. Was it here? I keep forgetting. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through here. Okay, I don't know where the zombie is. Where are you, zombie? Okay, he's on the other side. Cool. I keep forgetting, I suppose that's something, that's a small hint I can give you. If you don't know where a zombie is, just aim. And uh, he'll just auto-aim. Because sometimes I, yeah, like, I forget, like, I'm just like... They're thinking like, oh man, the camera is not giving me the best angle. Okay, I'm not supposed to be in this one, it's in the other door. Okay. That's pretty helpful, at least because, you know, technically it's kind of unfair that you're going through that like that. Like, oh no, Crimson Zombie! Yeah. He's chasing me, great! Go through the door, damn it! Okay, thank you. Anyway. <laughs> he almost got me. Yeah. Yeah, they run so awful, yeah. <laughs> They're so awesome. <laughs> okay, now I can go take care of that. <laughs> I love how our experiences are different. <laughs> They're awfully awesome. <laughs> I did that right. I'm out of here. I'm not sure you saw that. I just nick of time. It's just like he got so close and I just shot him. <laughs> hey there, zombie. I'm not gonna kill you because honestly, I'm just losing bullets there. <laughs> okay, so. Now I have the key. That crimson zombie. I just gave him a, a stomach full of blood. Now I'm gonna go over here. Now I can actually get the damn key. Damn you, Chris, for your inability to switch items up. <laughs> Very. Mm. And you would think, you know what? It makes sense because Chris sprints to his destination. He's just lightly jogging. I'm like, for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Again, one hell of a detective. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Chris, I'm dying. I need that herb. I'm sorry, I can't carry anymore. Are you serious? That <laughs> Should make a small video of that. That would be hilarious. <laughs> I'm, s I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> It's okay, I understand. You can't carry any more inventory. <laughs> okay. Binky, it's this one right here. Finally, I have the key. We can progress this way further. Yay, indeed. Locked emblem of a helmet. Okay, I can't access that door yet. Emblem of a helmet. Damn, I wonder if I'm gonna find ammo soon. With these new doors to open. Uh, the not so fun part is I'm gonna have to find out which doors I can open now. Because I do not remember which ones I can or cannot. Actually, it's the west side of the mansion. There were some doors I couldn't open. So that's a good start. Here we go. How many more pulls do I have? Three. Three shells. Chris sells, she sells at the seashore. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I don't remember. Okay. Okay. We'll find out which doors I can open now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to see how I can open this gate. The one with the with our freaky guest. It says uh, there are octagonal indentations to the right and left of the door. Oh, so I'm supposed to place... Okay, it's not a key, it's... It's like it's very specific items. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go from the second floor. Because the first floor, we, are no, we already know we have a bunch of new guests. A bunch of dogs, zombies. Not fun things. Actually, what about that door? I still haven't accessed that one. Don't tell me it's a helmet key. This one right here. Yeah, helmet. Okay. I might as well start identifying which ones are for the helmet. It's already found two. This one. <laughs> oh no, I heard that. It's another crimson zombie. I use a mansion key. I think I killed it. With one shot. Oh no. You'll see what you. I mean. You! Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard! What the hell happened to you? Chris, this place... Get your team out of here. Demons... everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake. But the size of the bite mark is huge. It's... not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back.
No, why would you storm into that door? You don't have any ammo, not even to- Oh god. Anyway. Oh, I need to go back to- I figured it was kind of like a- Like a medical- Like a medical room? Because of all the serums and all that stuff? God, she wants me to go back there? Great. Anyway. <sighs> Is there any other zombies here? Damn, I think I'm I'm not sure if he's if this is like a timely manner, so I'll have to go and get it now. How long does he have to live, Doc? How long? Several hours. Oh, then you'll be fine. Anyway. Let's see, um, how do I get there, how do I get there, how do I get there, how do I get there? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I remember. The Crimson Zombie's still gonna be roaming around, the one that I shot last time. Zombie is gonna come out from that door too. Go on, Chris, go on, Chris, run, 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 you bastard. Oh no, 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 no. That sounded way creepier. No, things are getting creepy. <laughs> You're just yeah. Okay, I got a serum. Okay, I got the serum. Okay, is there anything else I can at least leave behind? I'm gonna leave the... Uh, it doesn't sound wise, but I think I should leave the gun behind. Or no, the knife. Okay. The knife. Hmm. I'm gonna check the map and see if I can go in somewhere else. No, I can't. Oh man, I don't remember if that door can be opened with this key. Otherwise, I can just take that route. <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the bed. You okay? Let's hear some noises. Oh, I made the right choice. Maybe not. I don't know what the hell's on the other side of this door. Any, I'm scared. No, it's not. Not. <laughs> oh, great! I'm hearing some weird noises. Do you hear them? Like some rattling. Oh no. Chris. Chris. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like that noise. God, there's a zombie here. There's ammo. Yay. Oh, that's great. I have ammo. Is this zombie alive? Guess not. Clothes and various bits of junk are scattered everywhere. Oh, God. Annie, that's not good. That's not good. You'll see what I mean. 
Chris, is there anything there? It says Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating scumbag. May 10th, 1998. One of the highest ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. Uh, when I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. Okay, May 11th, 1998. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there's been an incident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12 of 1998. I never... It says I've been wearing the damn space suit since yesterday. <laughs> My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. May 13th, 1998. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th of 1998. I found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th of 1998, rumors going around that a, research who a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all, all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? May 19th, 1998, fever gone it says fever gone but itchy, today hungry, and eat doggy food. May 21st of 1998, itchy itchy, Scott came ugly face so killed him, tasty. And it says four, itchy, tasty. Huh, that's not creepy. Uh. And I'm not sure if you saw that banging on that closet. Yeah. That's always like any. I'm scared. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that I think once I stop reading this, it's gonna come from behind. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. God. I killed Scott. This is the shelf. I don't care about the shelf. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> oh man, that was something. <laughs> And I think I don't have any more. Oh no, I have the gun, of course. I was about to say, Annie, I don't have any ammo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know where this is gonna take us. Cool. I still need to explore that other room. At least I don't need to go back to the other one. Well. This doesn't look creepy. What do you say? Although I would like to f explore this area more, I keep forgetting. I need to save that other guy's life. Like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> I'm just here carrying the serum. <laughs> what 
<laughs> I'm here completely forgetting. Like, I gotta save. Oh man, look, a nickel. <laughs> Well, that was fun. <laughs> okay, he was on the second floor. Okay, let's go here. And he's in the right side. Be here. Where are they? There we go. Oh, great, he already died. That didn't take me long. Richard is already dead. If only of you've gotten that serum in time. I guess I took forever. Great, I'm a murderer, Annie. Oh man. What about? Uh, I don't think I should go through this room, but I already did. Okay, maybe it's not the worst thing. Oh crap. Stab him. Flash grenades do I have? <laughs> I think that's like three already. Oh, this is certainly creepy. It's so dark in here. And I can't grab that because I don't have any room. Can I light this place up? Lit candle. I can. My god, there's so much ammo. But I can't grab anything. <laughs> there's two handgun magazines. But I can't grab him. Okay, so in order for me to actually be able to grab him, I have to drop some stuff. Oh man. <coughs> but to access that stuff. What stuff? Oh my god. How the hell did that thing get in here? Grab those herbs. What should I leave behind? Well, what do I need the serum for now? Should I drop that off? I guess so. Cause yeah, there's no use for it now. Okay, I guess those grenades I can use them as defense, as a defense mechanism as well, kind of like the knives. Let's see. Now, in order for me to 
get somewhere to store that stuff, I need to go back here. There was something weird here. Oh, it's just a zombie. Never mind. Cool. You don't get to see that. <laughs> I made its head disappear. serum unless I'm gonna need it for myself I'm not sure if there's a somewhere I haven't opened yet with an old key but I guess I won't be needing that yet realize that that means I blew that zombie's head off with the last bullet what a perfect timing otherwise I would have been just there in such a silly way pulling the trigger <laughs> magazine seems to be giving me a full clip. Okay. It was over here. Over here. Over here. that noise. Move your phone. Okay. When you possibly, oh no. I was going to ask if, because you told me you have uh, a tablet. Probably enjoy watching it there. What were you talking? We're just saying. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's oh. Just oh, did it? Well, I'll wait. Okay. 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 I'm not, not sure if you see it. If you see that, I can apparently push this, Kevin. Looks creepy. Any other about to? Oh crap! Oh crap! There's a zombie in there. Grenade. <laughs> what the 
have it. There we go. I did not know there was a zombie waiting there. Okay, I found a musical score. Anything else? The shelves are lined with wine glasses. That's all you have to say about yourself, Chris. Hope you're proud. So I have some musical scores. I didn't know that's what they were called. The beginning and the last section of the musical of the music are missing. That's not weird. Okay, now I have another item that I hope I can use now, otherwise I'll have to store it again. <laughs> There's a reason why I'm not still going into that door, because I know I'm going to be fighting. And I do not have a lot of equipment to fight. Or uh, shit, stupid musical score. Now how the hell am I supposed to carry more shit? Okay. You know what? Screw this. Oh, it says it's locked. I have a shield. Yeah, I don't have any of the shield. Okay, cool. So I don't have to go in there and do it. Okay, cool. I thought I probably had to, to advance the story, but I don't. Lucky me. I can't grab those herbs. That means I can go back to that place I was wandering around? Or I can even explore this one possibly. Oh no, that's another crimson. Ha! I did not wake him up. to disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Press it? Sure, I guess. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Get the hell out of there. Ah, oh, great. That motherfucker stood up. damage because of that poison. Great. As a matter of fact, let me see. There's something in this depression, but the great it's in the way. I can't reach it. Okay. And I just wanted to see if he could possibly analyze the, the images in front. Because I see there's one with a shield, an axe. I do not know what the third one. I know the last one's a sword. Um, okay. I wonder if there's a pattern there. Oh man. Actually, I think. If you, I'm not sure if you can see that, but because I know you're looking at it by your on your phone, which is smaller. But each picture of the knights, they seem to follow a pattern of the of the emblems in the deck of cards, like the one all the way on the left has like a heart shaped, 
the one the second one has it looks like it's the clover the third one looks like it's the diamond and the fourth one seems to be the spade I wonder if there's something I'm supposed to follow there let me see if you can read these the sleeping night does he say the same for everything else yeah he does okay I wonder if there's a specific order of which one we're supposed to go first would it be the spade goes first then the diamond I'm gonna gonna wing it then yeah yeah uh, the weird part is I can't even tell the images so well can't tell them apart okay diamond is one that's holding the axe upright. There's the other one that's holding it down. That's so weird. Hmm. He came out. don't see the pattern. No, it's okay. Well, I got them all back. So, I hope that works. Okay. I guess it worked. I don't know what I did. But it worked. And I can't carry it. Uh, okay. <laughs> and there's a crimson zombie right outside of this. Okay. At least it's open, I guess. I'll I'll be optimistic about this. Okay. Oh no, that bastard. Oh man, he missed me. Oh yes. God, that was awful. <laughs> things. I don't know how that missed me, but it did. Okay, so you know what, for the sake of just exploring, I'm just gonna go in that area we had to exit quickly. And I failed to save my comrade. Because I already have it open, so there's no need for me to actually go back. How did you solve that puzzle? I don't know. <laughs> I just know it didn't take me long. <laughs> oh, that's a... Cr yep, crimson. Fucking shit. Okay. <laughs> he didn't stand up, so that's great. Okay. Okay. I still haven't explored that room or that one. And we're still hearing that weird noise. Yay, fun stuff happening here. Yeah. I understand. 
I'll, I'll very much do the same, honestly, by that time. So we can both take a shower. I wish I was together, but yeah, we'll stop. <laughs> There's an in inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Okay. Oh, I think I know what I need to do here. That blue diamond? I think it needs to go here. But that means I'll need a yellow one. Ready ahead of the game. And now we're gonna find out where that freaking noise is coming from. Oh, I see. It's a zombie. Yeah, he's probably gonna break through after I... Investing in this area. Ooh. Electricity. The lid on this water pump is open. Uh, pump the water. First of all, I'm not even sure what the hell I'm looking at, Chris, so chill out. Oh, now I know where I need that stuff. The, yeah. Oh, crap. That thing is not happy. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll, ha I'll need to put it right there. Okay. Mm. Cool things being discovered here. So I'm going to break this thing? Not yet? Cool. Don't. Oh, you don't need to go that far to get to that uh, storage. Yeah, it's on the other side. Yay! notes don't need them I could at least take this with me the blue gem and just put it on the on the tiger that way I don't, I don't need to carry more of those items with me and oh I forgot Jeez. I'm ready actually. yeah Oh, I forgot I need to grab that stuff for the plant. Yeah, I'm like, I'm over here. I think I'm just gonna put the shotgun here, because I don't have any ammo for it. Herbicide, and yeah, it looks good. Because even if I get the shotgun, or even if I keep it, I need to be able to put it in my inventory in order to load it. So it's... Hey, good stuff happening here. Okay. I'm still wondering if these windows are going to be smashed. I think I would like something else to be smashed. <laughs> That's pretty much what I need. <laughs> and look, you got to see a tiger statue. Aha, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, cool. It's giving me something. Shotgun shells. Sick. I mean, again, it. I guess it's better that I have it, I don't have the shotgun with me, because I can't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I 
Honestly, good thing I did. <laughs> then it all worked out. And guess who's helping me? A tiger. <laughs> tiger helping me in two different ways, keeping me company in the game. <laughs> okay. Oh, I wish I were. I get to meet him this soon. I wish I get to meet Madness soon. Such a cute boy. Yeah, it. That's oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to use the herbicide here. And then. Turn on the water. Which way will we turn the switch? Well, I don't know. Which way should I turn it? The green or the red? But I'm not sure if you if you can see. There's two. There's two pipes. One of them is red, and one of them is green. That's why I'm trying to wonder which one is where. Like, the green one seems to lead right. I'm gonna go with the green one, screw it. I hope I'm making the right choice. Yes. Let's go for the green one. Oh no. I screwed up. That means I killed the herbs. That's great. Okay, let's turn it to the red one then. Sorry, Chris, you're gonna wretch this time, yeah. Damn, how many herbs did I waste? There was a good amount there. Oh, like five! Damn, anyway. Actually, looks like the pumping caused its mm, wither. Okay, yeah, I can't pick any of them up. What is this? It's a death mask. That's lovely. Let's examine it. It's a death mask without eyes. I think I'm gonna have to interact with those statues, the ones in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else I can pick up here? Is that it? I guess that's it. I need to use this anymore? Nope, I do not. And is that zombie gonna smash through that window? Do I need to come back? Screw you guys, I'm out here. Actually, no, I'm gonna check my inventory. Hmm. I guess I'll head over there. A small key, by the way. Do you remember? I think I did, right? Yeah. But I left it in the. in the safe box, right? There, shit. Okay, because I think there's there's a gate I can access, or there's a gate I cannot access unless I have a small key. I think. Um, well, I guess I can just take care of the mask first. Okay. 
I know there's zombies there though. Fuck. I should probably use the shotgun or the pistol. Shit. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. Damn the crimson zombies. I don't even know how the hell I'm I'm doing that where I'm dodging them. This is locked from the other side, so I don't need it. Okay, cool. Uh, the Sagittarius sign. What creature is holding the bow? Okay, yeah. I was just looking at the statue and I was like, okay, that's not a centaur, that's just like an angel. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think the first mask goes here then. Yeah. Oh, that's not pretty. Get moving, Chris. Get moving. Not sure if that zombie's here with us. I was just standing over there like an idiot. Oh, there's shotgun ammo there. And I still have shotgun ammo with me. That is tempting. I know what I'll do. Try to take it down once and then grab it, get the hell out of there, and he'll. I know he's gonna get up a second. Or, never mind, I blew his head off. Yay, more shotgun shells! Okay, cool. That worked out. Look how much we're accomplishing together. We should go to a mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Is there some creepy mansion that is suffering with some sort of zombie infestation and mystery? Sir, are you kidding? I've never been so serious in my life. That's <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know, Annie, they just escorted me. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like... Yeah. Yeah, that sounds... That sounds every bit of creepy. And that's... Yeah. 
I'm staying in here. Yeah. <laughs> I I understand the feeling. Like I've never personally been on that situ in that situation, but that was one I know like funny thing that I mentioned when I was little. Then I said like I know a lot of people pretty much figure that the first few things they would like to buy with a lot of money is a big house. I pretty much opposed that view. I was like, no, I wouldn't want to have a big house. I was like, I'm possibly the only one thinking of, of this situation more like vividly. I'm like, if you talk about a big house, there's going to be a lot of places you're not really in and you really don't know if there's anyone in there with, you know, when you decide to go in said room, kitchen, living room, you won't really know. Like, <laughs> that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's... I... Again, I'm 100% on your side on that one. It's, I gave it just a small thought and I'm like... Honestly... Yeah, it's just... They just need more room for it to be creepy. And I'm like, nope. I don't want any part of that. Oh no. Yep, I'm with that. Kill them both, please. Kill them both, please. Oh, I think it did. I think. Oh, they both went down. Sick. That worked out. And oh my god, I don't have any pistol ammo. Is that any surprise? No. <laughs> I should probably be dodging these zombies, but these corridors are pretty narrow. Chance of me actually dodging them? Not that great. Okay. It's almost 11. If you want, we could call it here. Like, I'm already in the safe room. Which we can keep... Yeah, like, I wish we could play some more, but, yeah. I understand. Yeah. I did too. This is a nice revisit of a game that I enjoyed and you get I get to share that with you. It's very nice. So thank you, Annie. No, thank you. Bye. No, okay. <laughs> I just beat you to it. <laughs> okay, Annie. Well, thank you for being here. Um, I really hope you can sleep well. I mean, I'll, I'll still stay in touch um, before I go to sleep. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy your shower. Thank you. I mean, if anything, I can also stop the broadcasting. I'm like, still here. St continuing the broadcast. Let's see. How do I do this? Uh... Broadcast settings, start share music, how do I start or stop broadcasting, share button, and then select broadcast settings, okay. Uh, stop broadcasting, there we go.